this, you know, th this way of present, we could name like what were those people like? Those people who were present to you, right? They were, they were I, I, my guess is they weren't manipulative. That you didn't sense that at the time, that they were open, available. That's the kind of presence we want to embody, right? In, in whatever work, work we're doing. Um, let me just end with this last image. So, so we, we in, in a school, we, we had all these forest fires. We had 3,500 houses destroyed um, by fire, over 5,000 people displaced in our town in 2020. This is during the virus, right? So pe we couldn't come together the way people do when there's, when there's hurt. We couldn't come and bring food and, and try to tend one another. It was, the, the vaccines weren't out. In the spring, 2021, they let kids back into the school. The town where this really hit is about four miles from my house, Phoenix Talent, these two little towns. The, the kids came into the high school for the first time and it was strange because the high school had never been inhabited. So everything was perfectly clean. The kids have the masks six feet apart. It was perfectly silent, so kids, so the teachers were putting music boxes in the, in the hallways to play music because it felt so awkward. And then they brought in 25 counselors, the state provided, and the counselors were put in hallways and, and in the um, gymnasium and in the cafeteria, and none of the kids went to see these counselors. I mean, they all looked frightening to me. They had their scarves and their tissue boxes and the two chairs, just like, I am never going into that cubicle <laughs> with that person, you know. And so, um, so they, they said, could you come in? I, I do a lot of work with story. Could you bring stories? So we trained all these people how to get kids to tell stories. We got them in circles. And the kids in circles, um, we asked them questions like, um, have you ever had a strange ex encounter with an animal? Tell that moment. Yeah, we had a three-legged dog. We had a squirrel come into our house. And they would tell these stories, and they would laugh, and they would kind of connect. And every day, what was the place you loved when you were little? Um, you know, would you ever get in trouble? Tell it, and, so, and we got a little more vulnerable. Towards the end of the week, we said, tell a moment where you were struggling this last year. And the kids leaned in, their voices, the tone dropped, they talked in quieter voices, and they told their struggle stories to one another. When it got done, I remember one classroom I was in, I said, say, what was it like to share those struggles? Six foot, two kids, Seattle Seahawks, Jersey, raises his hands, got his wild black hair, and he says, uh, man, that was joyful. And I said, why was that joyful? I said, because these were struggle stories. And he said, oh, well, every story in my group was depressing, but I saw myself in every story, and that was joyful. What, what we believe is that relationship is resiliency. Relationship brings hope, not just with us, right, with one another, with the suffering, with the joy, and with that sacred well that, that holds its all. And so we're, as we develop those relationships, possibilities emerge.